So, new year, new me, new business. Oh, yeah! I did start a new business, though. Check it out. It's kind of small time right now, but you gotta start somewhere. Vending machines. Hmm? Vending machines. We got about that one two more at home we already placed one of them then we had another one so we got five machines right now so trying to keep you know spread the eggs out not have all the eggs in one basket so that's why i've started looking into something like this um, so far which i probably make some videos just just doing the vending stuff so far we've gotten one machine placed and we've gotten turned down probably 10 times on other businesses, uh, just going in and talking to them, seeing if they're interested in the free candy machine. Because um, what you do is you just you go in there, ask them if you can set up a candy machine. And it's more of a convenience to them and their customers to have something where they can get a quick snack or you know um, keep the kids calm or give the kids something to do. So you don't, you don't actually pay for the space. Some people do give like a little bit of a commission off of you know what they bring in but uh, typically you don't pay for the space so you just go in there and you tell them you know hey i got a vending machine business i'd like to set up a candy machine are you okay with that i can put it right there we go in and service them um, keep them full collect the quarters um i've heard of some people doing like a 10 percent commission but realistically i i expect these machines to do like 25 30 bucks a month and if a business really wants 10% cut of that, I mean, I, I would think that they have bigger problems to worry about than getting three bucks from the candy guy. But um, if you have a, a large number of machines, it starts to add up. So if you have a pretty good route, you know, where you, every two weeks or so, you go out, you stop here, 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 you got this good path, you fill up the machines, collect quarters, you know, it, it can turn into a decent business, a um, little supplemental income, but yeah, so I did start a new business, new year, new business, candy, called Pro Vending, that's the name of the company, um, I was going to go with Tickler's Treats, but got vetoed, so Pro Vending, so yeah, shop update, um, probably seen the video on the G-Body frame, um, coming along on that. Mike 64, I'm out here uh, getting this thing blocked out, at least the back end. Um, I still need to wait until we get the front end put on before I start getting real crazy about blocking everything up in here. But um, yeah, it's coming along. Moving right along. Um, as far as the other business, man, you know, we had, I'd say November was probably the best month we've ever had out of here. We had um, three or four big insurance jobs, uh, deer hits actually, so that was awesome. Um, that helped put a little money in the bank. But then followed up after November, we had probably the worst month we've ever had, which is kind of weird. Um, I, I could kind of feel it. I, I think I even said it in one of my videos. When I was busy, I hope this is the new normal, and I hope it's not like dropping a frying pan in cold water. That's what happened. Uh, frying pan, cold water situation. <laughs> it just, after that last deer hit, boom, stopped. It just went, just went silent. My phone stopped ringing, people stopped showing up. Um, Cause for November, I was at least getting one customer a day, either calling, that, that was serious, I still get, people who aren't terribly serious or you know who want a paint job for 400 bucks i still get those kind of people reaching out but i had some really good customers stopping at least once a day or calling me in november and then december just it was like my phone got shut off or something so that was kind of a struggle um but at least we had that busy month before that to kind of help put a little money in the bank but um, it gets burned up pretty quick when you're uh running a business just you know because i had some slow months before november too so november money caught us up december kind of put us behind again so it's just it's a give take i'm just glad i had enough to uh pay what i needed to pay to keep going um but yeah 
So December, not so great. Um, and so far, January isn't looking a whole lot better, but I still got hope. I mean, I'm not giving up hope. Uh, I'm still advertising like crazy, but then again, advertising takes money. So um, it's getting to the point where I got to be really picky about what I'm doing as far as money going out until I start seeing some money coming back in. But you can't stop advertising. So, I, you know, I, I even do like some, you know, just bombard Craigslist with some illegal ads. Hope they don't get flagged. Um, I, but the Craigslist customers, in my experience, haven't been the uh, the best. Every customer is a good customer, but they expect a lot for very little on Craigslist, from my experience anyway. So um, I got a few responses off of those, but it was the typical, can you patch my rusty box side for 300 bucks? And I say, yeah. And they say, well, let me think about it. So I'm taking what I can get, but even even the taking what I can get prices aren't bringing people in the door as of yet. But here in Iowa, the weather has been, I mean, yesterday was almost 60 degrees. Almost 60 degrees yesterday in Iowa in January. That's insane. So we haven't had any hard snow, and I think that's really um, slowing down the insurance jobs. And then after the holidays, before tax season, um, really, it's a hard time for a lot of people. I get it. I get it. It's a hard time for me. So, uh, business has slowed up, but we're still moving. I mean, we're still, we're still working. There's still stuff here. I just wish there was a little bit more. So, that's a January update. So if anybody out there in uh, YouTube land needs any work done, there you go, right there. If you need any work done, that's the number, and you can call or text that. Uh, I might almost prefer text. So, if you got anything that needs done, and you're serious about it, I mean, please don't, don't text. You know, if you plan on doing something in, in two years, but if you're serious about it. Call or text me. Let's talk about it. Uh, let's let's make something happen. I'm giving out deals, left and right. I'm giving them out. All right, I'm closing the shop down on this fine Sunday afternoon. Um, a little bit of block sanding done to the 64. I mean, I showed you guys these there earlier. Got the wheel wells color matched. Just, just a good looking color. Just a good looking color. So, I also did something else today that I I regret already. And it's it's not even gone. Bye, Hitman. Bye. Here, my boy, Blue. Had to sell the 50. Kind of a shame, really. Kind of a shame. I was kind of looking forward to getting that thing running a little smoother and driving it around this summer, but oh well. I mean, all things considered, I don't have the time, the space, or the money for another project, so I guess that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. Keep the wheels turning, had fun with it. Now it's time to be a man and let it go. There will be other 50s. There will be other 50s. Oh, you want to run your own business? Make a bunch of money? Kill your dreams? Be my guest. Sometimes it sucks. You gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> I'd still rather do this than go to work for somebody, though. <laughs>